These videos will make you question everything. So remember, this is for entertainment purposes only. Let's check it out. Number 20, Minri Mine. Now I feel compelled to begin this one with something dramatic, so how about the deepest hole on Earth was sealed up because scientists found this? Does that sound good to you? Does it make you think that I secretly found something so horrifying that I had, had to be sealed up in order to save the world? Well, sadly, none of the holes on this list are anywhere near that impressive or dramatic, but I do have various cases of holes being made by man that in many ways dwarf what nature has done at times. For example, we have the Minri Mine in eastern Serbia. To give you a visual on just how big the hole is, well, take a look. Yeah, when you can do an aerial shot of a giant hole and it fills up the entire shot, well, that's a really big hole. Mirni that's scary. Why do we even have a hole that deep? Why? Why? Mine, otherwise known as Mir Mine, is one of the larger man-made excavated holes in the world, so that adds another impressive element to things. Not only was that hole huge, but it was made that huge by man. The next question would obviously be, what is so important that we need to make a hole that big? Thank the answer you. is the Kimberlite Diamond Mine. And yeah, hopefully I don't have to explain the importance of diamonds in our world to you. I was about to say, I should have I should have known. Something to do with some type of form of greed. Greed had to play a part in this. The diamond-rich deposit would be discovered in June of 1955 by Soviet geologists during the larger scale Amakinsky expedition to the Yakut ASSR. And once they found out this mine's value, that's when they began to dig. The mine is over 525 meters deep, making it the fourth deepest of its kind in the world, and it has a diameter of 1,200 meters, hence why it's so huge in the aerial shot. There are a few ironies that I need to talk about before moving on though. First of which is the hole isn't going to get any bigger because they're focusing on underground mining in the area. Second, it's rumored that the Minri mine is so big that it can suck down helicopters that fly over it. That's kind of freaky. Man. And finally, there are allegedly plans to renovate the hole into a futuristic city. I actually have no words. Before we go on. Like, what does this mean? Like, what could this do to, the, to our planet? What are the effects it could have on us? Greed is going to end up destroying us, man. Seriously. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. There's a very good reason why this video is called The Deepest Hole on Earth Was Sealed Up Because Scientists Found This, because they're talking about the lava-filled hole in this shocking and striking image. It's officially the deepest hole in the world, discovered by a pair of French volcanologists. It's a real piece of beauty, even if it does look like the gate to hell itself. Or a hell mouth for all of you Buffy fans out there. When you take into account that not only is it the deepest hole on Earth, but it's also full of molten lava, it of course makes total sense that the scientists who found it should block it up as soon as possible. If this were an active volcano, it may be dangerous to block it. Imagine blocking a volcano with a boulder, only for it to erupt and then that boulder go flying like the cork of a popped bottle of champagne. Thankfully, the giant hole is at no risk of erupting. It's only dangerous if you fall in, so blocking it up was nice and sensible. As always, let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag SweetTopic. Number 19. The Dragon Hole Now, I know the joke that you want me to make right now, but... But I'm going to talk about a true dragon hole, and that is a huge blue hole that's immersed in the south of the China Sea in the Paracel Islands, just between Vietnam and the Philippines. If you're not familiar with the term blue hole, well that's a reference to a kind of sinkhole that takes place within the oceans of the world. This sinkhole measures around 130 meters wide and has a depth that can hold the entire Eiffel Tower. 
And if you don't know what that means, Dang. well, the Dragon Hole is a whopping 300 meters or more. That makes it the deepest known blue hole in the world today. And one of the ways that you can easily tell that it's a sinkhole or blue hole would be its coloring. It has a very dark blue dark hue blue that center. stands out from the rest of the waters around it. In other words, you can't really miss the hole. What may surprise you more is that despite it being a sinkhole, there's actually plenty of life within. Specifically, 20 species of fish and other forms of living creatures were all found by a drone that dove into the hole. This further affirms the life finds a way line by a certain dino guy, because you wouldn't expect life to exist in a sinkhole, and yet there it is. Look at the aerial shot right there. Why do I feel like we should barricade that off at least to let people know they're driving past that? To which I feel like, you know, ships and different things are probably aware, but in the case that they aren't. Can't we figure out a way to barricade, put some buoys up with some lights so they know to kind of go around that? Because what if that thing just decided to just create like some type of little, what they call a little thing? <laughs> Look like a toilet flushing. And it does that and just take a ship down in there. Then what? Like we need to barricade that off for real. And you can bet that scientists are going to keep on studying it to learn more about what it is, how it formed, and whether there were even more like it in the world. Probably Number really. 18. Bingham Canyon Mine. Now you may be surprised that I'm already showing off multiple mines from around the world, but they are holes, and sometimes they're already holes before we make them even bigger ones. If we had someone bless them, then they would even be holy. <laughs> Anyways, moving on, the Bingham Canyon Mine is one of the largest open pit mines in the world, measuring over 4 kilometers wide and being 1,200 meters deep. Now, if you're keeping score, that makes it twice as deep as the Minry Mine that I've already talked about. You'll find the place outside of Salt Lake City, Utah, and it was mined to extract a copper deposit. So, sure, it may not be diamonds, but we use copper for a lot of things in our yes, world today. Yes, we do. The mine would be discovered in the late 19th century, but it wasn't meant to be a copper mine at first. Instead, it was to get out gold and silver, which were the popular metals of the time. It would not be until the mine was changed into an open pit mine that things began to turn around, and they focused on the copper itself. And lest you think that we've run out of interest for copper, well, you really don't pay attention to all the things around you, do you? Right. Copper is valued rather highly thanks to global demand from construction, telecommunications, and electronic sectors of the economy. And yes, it may not be as valuable as gold or silver, but it's also much more difficult to find and extract. Back in 1906... It wasn't valuable. Why do people keep stealing it out of houses when somebody build or or do something and, and or they renovate in and the house is vacant or something, they come there and all the copper is gone. You know what I mean? I know that's small scale, but just giving you some sense. You know what I'm saying? People were getting 100,000 tons of material out of that mine per month. So when you add it all up, well, you can see why it's a really deep hole. Number 17. Cola Super Deep Borehole Now I'm going to talk about a very unique kind of hole. One that was indeed done by man, but not in the way you may be expecting. You see, at one point several decades ago, which makes me sound really old, the United States and the USSR, aka the then Soviet Union, were in a race in just about everything. They were competing with each other in sports, the race to the moon, and then to a race to the center of the earth. Yes, the classic tale of trying to dig your way to China and then having to go through the earth's core to do it or go around it or either. But the Soviets were very serious about it all. So in 1970, they began a special borehole drilling project with the goal to see just how far they could actually drill into the earth before they were forced to stop. Now, would you like to make a guess on how far they got? Maybe 5,000 meters? Maybe deeper, 10,000 meters? Well, the official tally is that after drilling for 20 or more years, they were able to go 12,262 meters. That is very impressive, but you may be asking, well, it's not even close to the Earth's core, right? And you would be right, because it's not. 
The reason they had to stop was that the deeper they went, the hotter, hotter the temperatures got. became, and thus the metals and other instruments that they were using either melted or stopped functioning altogether. How hot am I talking? Well, about 180 degrees Celsius. For reference, they knew that it would get hot the deeper they went, but it was double what they expected at the time. And they also felt that they could go at least another kilometer or so before having to stop. Despite some competition in later years, the Kola Super Deep Borehole has maintained the record for the deepest artificial point in Earth. Number oh, you know they're not gonna stop. They're gonna keep going. They're trying to figure out some kind of way right now to go past the point they are at where they're where they stopped at. Like we could be doing a whole list of other things right now with but they're gonna figure out a way to go further and deeper into that hole, bro. Number 16. Chilean sinkhole. Now, this next story is pretty much going to be a kind of fusion of what came before, because I'm going to talk about both a mining site and a sinkhole, but in this case the two are both mutually exclusive, and yet they're not. The event in question took place in 2022, where a massive sinkhole suddenly appeared near a mine in Chile. And if you're curious, when the sinkhole was done forming, it was over 25 meters in diameter and about 200 meters deep. Thankfully, while this did happen close to a nearby mine, nobody would be affected by the event. However, there was an investigation open to see if the mine somehow had caused the sinkhole to form. Why would they suspect that? Well, because it's actually not that hard to believe. Sinkholes will only form in certain conditions or situations, and that's actually what makes them one of the most dangerous things on the planet. You can literally be standing in a place where a sinkhole will form, and yet you'd never know it until it starts to create itself. And once it begins, it's not going to stop until it's reached its full size. No matter what though, they're going to have to work their way around that hole for the foreseeable future, because that's not just something that you fill in and hope that nothing else goes wrong with. And if the mine did cause the event, then we're all going to have to make sure that whatever they did doesn't cause another one to form. Number 15. West Desert Sinkhole If you like the last sinkhole story, well good, because I have another one for you, albeit it's one that has a more natural cause than the last entry. The West Desert Sinkhole would be discovered in 1927 by Joseph Nielsen, the hole in question was apparently created due to an underground river. Oh, and the Nielsen guy? Well, he almost got swallowed up by that sinkhole. He was wandering around in a certain spot in Utah when his horses made it clear that they were not going to take another step forward. And so, he did the honor for them, and the ground began to pour into the sinkhole, and it was by those same horses that Nielsen made it out alive. He returned the next day to see that the sinkhole that he had caused had grown to a massive size, being both wide and and deep, I'm talking about 27 meters deep and 21 meters across. It was a very big hole. Now, I wouldn't even stand that close to it. Do you see how big it's gotten? <laughs> like, people are crazy, man. And one thing I'm taking from this, right? Animals, it's important, they're vital to our survival. I need to get me some more animals, bro. <laughs> Seriously. So they can detect they can detect things that we can't clearly. The good news is that in modern times, which includes today, you can actually go and visit the West Desert sinkhole and see its massive size and depth for yourself. However, you'll need to be very careful around it, because like many sinkholes, it can expand if provoked in the right way. Just as important, there are a lot of loose rocks and jagged edges that you can get hurt on. In fact, it's so dangerous that you're not even allowed to try and go to the bottom of said hole. Well, I know that'll upset some of you, but were you really planning on going to Utah anyway? Way. Number 14. Well of Hell. Yeah, I'm going to tread very carefully on this one because, well, with a name like Well of Hell, you definitely don't want to potentially kick off anyone or anything that may be associated with that place. Surrounded in mystery and tales of demons, the Well of Barhut in Yemen's east known as the Well of Hell, is a little understood natural wonder. While the hole may appear small based on some of the pictures you're seeing, it's actually rather large. I'm talking like 30 meters wide and possibly 250 meters deep, all based on certain estimations. Now you may be curious where the Tales of Demons comes from. I'll help you out with that. Apparently whatever is going on in this hole is rather foul-smelling, 
and as such it's believed that the hole is a prison for demons because the underworld is said to smell like sulfur and other rotten things. Now aside from what may be inside of it, the other mystery of the well is that, well, what kind of hole is it? How long has it been there? And so on. Really just about everything. That's where many scientists will disagree on it, because to some, it appears like something known as a collapsed pingo. Yes, pingo and not bingo. It's totally different. Others think that it's simply a sinkhole that is not as big as others that we've already talked about. Some have even speculated that this well is a super volcano and it will eventually erupt. However, there is no scientific evidence for any of that, and we should be grateful that they can't prove it. If nothing else, it's nice to know that nature still has some mysteries to unravel. Number 13. Diavik Diamond Mine Now I'm going back to the diamond mines of the world, and the next one puts others that I've shown you to shame for more reasons than one. The first reason is that this mine is interesting, that it's within Canada, which is usually more associated with gold than it is with diamonds. But the Diavik Diamond Mine puts that theory to shame, as they've been working out of this mine for well over 20 years. Equally as important is the location in Canada. The mine is in the Arctic Circle, which means that it's really, really cold there, and yet they've been able to mine out layer after layer after layer of material and diamonds. And apparently there approved another pipeline in 2023 to continue with the mining operations. Their goal is that in 2024, they'll have about 800,000 carats of diamonds out of that new part of the mine. That says- Does anybody besides me ever wonder if us depleting our planet of its resources by mining and doing different things and, and taking it and removing it from the planet, that it affects us in a way we haven't yet seen? But if we continue, the planet is gonna it's gonna let us know, and us stripping it of its resources. What effect will that have? I often think about that. You know what I mean? But nobody's ever said anything. I feel like they're keeping that from us. But is that be on my mind when I hear certain things? It's a lot, not only about the mine itself, but the quality of diamonds that they found in the area. It also speaks to the kind of people who would push to get the diamonds out of an area like this. Being only 220 kilometers south of the Arctic Circle, it can't be easy, but as you can see, they're getting the job done. Another irony is that they were initially going to shut the mine down in 2025, but the new project is likely going to delay that quite a bit. Number 12. Chand Bayori. Now for something completely different than anything I've shown you before. And I mean that quite literally, because we're not showing you a sinkhole, or a mine, or a watery depth, but instead, I'm going to show you a man-made marvel from India that is known as a step well. Step wells are wide wells with a long corridor of steps that lead down to the water level. And while that may seem a bit convoluted, they have been used in India for over a thousand step years, wells. and they were, at one time, considered one of the most important parts of the culture, given how they would help people out. Wow. The way that they were designed was also like, to help. I don't know if I ever want to be at the bottom of that thing, you know? <laughs> Just the way my mind works and, and thinks and being yeah no 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 keep me at the top up and sure water was there for people to access even if the weather wasn't cooperating at the time in the dry season people definitely needed water more than anything and these step wells were a key way of ensuring they had it plus if you look at the architecture of chanbaori you'll notice how much design and effort went into making this not only happen but to look good in the process while they aren't as well used in today's society for various reasons, which includes easier ways to get water, they're still a key part of the Indian culture. They're used for celebrations, events, and they're a big tourist attraction, as people can marvel at the handiwork that is before them. And if there was another water crisis, well, India would technically be covered thanks to something like this. Number 11. The Berkeley Pit now we'll jump around to the other side of the world and talk about a pit that you can find in Butte, Montana. The Berkeley Pit was Butte's first large truck-operated open-pit copper mine until mining had ceased in 1982. 
And trust me when I say, trucks help them move a lot of material out of there. We're talking about one and a half billion tons of material. Out of that came over 290 million tons of copper ore. And as we've already established, copper is something that almost Jeez. everyone needs, whether they realize it or not. And before you go talking about the size of the pit, I want to help you paint a picture. This pit was so huge that when certain communities were around, and basically in danger of being consumed by the expansion of the pit, the mining company behind it straight up bought all of the homes and the communities in the area so that they could keep on digging. That is dedication to the Destroyed. mining craft. The pit is 2,133 meters long, 1,700 meters wide, and nearly 500 meters deep. So yes, it was a big pit, and one that served its purpose quite well. Ironically though, it's yet another place that you can go and visit, and it's only going to cost you $3 to see the sights at the pit. Wow, what a steal. Number 10. That can't be good, bro. There's no way to convince me that it is. The Big Hole Now you almost have to wonder if people back then even knew that they really shouldn't name certain places certain things because of the onslaught of jokes that would be born out of them. Oh well, can't be helped now, because I'm going to talk about The Big Hole. And oh, what a big hole it is. In fact, you could say that this hole is so big, uh, let me just talk about the diamond mine in South Africa. Back in 1866, a man by the name of Erasmus Jacobs, which is badass, came across a white pebble beside the Orange River in a near Hope Town. After examination, it would be revealed that the pebble was actually a diamond, and it measured 21.25 carats. So imagine finding that on your daily stroll. That is life-changing right there. Eventually, more diamonds would be discovered, and there was a massive mine that was born. By the time that mine had closed in 1914, it measured an area of 170,000 square meters to a depth of 1,097 meters, and yielded some three tons of diamonds. Wow. Number nine. Red Lake. Red Lake in Croatia is not one that is a water body colored red. Instead, it's yet another sinkhole. The area around where this deep hole and its water are located is fascinating in many regards. For example, there are tons of caves around it for people to explore and high cliffs to climb. Plus, it might even go deeper than the official measurement of 530 meters. Much like other sinkholes, this body of water has a unique wildlife within it, which includes an endangered species of minnows. And as you can imagine, Croatia is going to protect this place for quite some time. Number 8. The Glory Hole <laughs> Now, Why? look, I know that times change meanings, but when you know how dirty this phrase has become in some circles, and then you have to talk about it in a non-ironic way, it's kind of difficult, all right? Believe it or not, this hole is part of a dam. Yes, really, it's a damn glory hole. In fact, the hole in question is a key element of the Morning Glory Spillway within the Monticello Dam at Lake Berisa in Northern California. Yeah, I've heard about this one. And this deep hole has a very important purpose. When the dam has reached capacity through whatever means, the spillway and hole open up and water pumps out and dumps itself all over the place far away so that the dam can be at safe waters once again. And if you're thinking it would suck to be caught in that thing while it's draining, well, you're right. Someone has been caught in it in the past and they actually died. Yep. A bummer. Number seven. Guatemala City Sinkhole. Now, as I've already warned you, a sinkhole can sometimes appear out of nowhere and at any time. For proof of this, you need only to look at the Guatemala City Sinkhole of 2010. This was a sinkhole that happened- See, this is what I'm saying. Like, instead of worrying about how how low we can dig, how, how far we can dig into the earth, how about we figure out, do soil samples or whatever we could do to stop and figure out how to predict these sinkholes. Something that could very well start and engulf an entire city if it gets big enough. Like, no, we need to 
focus our attention elsewhere. Don't get me wrong. Digging and figuring out the planet is one thing, but when you start thinking about a sinkhole and the damage and destruction it can do, you kind of put that above trying to get to the core. Right in the middle of the capital city, and the destruction was sudden, severe, and potentially expanding due to the damages done to the area around it. The sinkhole occurred for a combination of reasons, which included Tropical Storm Agatha, a volcano eruption, and leakage from sewer pipes. Yeah, now this is a sinkhole. So, three seemingly unconnected events led to See? a disaster, which included entire buildings being sunk into the hole. The loss of life would be remarkably low, but it could have been a whole lot worse. Ironically, this was not even the first sinkhole that Guatemala had to endure in recent times, as one had also suddenly appeared in 2007. Number 6. Turkey's Konya Plain Sinkholes now hopefully you're seeing the true power and terror of sinkholes of the world. They can truly engulf areas without hesitation, and to further prove that, I'm going to take you to Turkey, because they have a place called Konya Plain that is literally being devoured by sinkholes. Dotting the Konya Plain in their hundreds, these gulfs in the ground often measure between 10 and 30 meters across and 30 to 40 meters deep. And while many of these pictures are only showing one or two of those sinkholes, they really are high in numbers. Plus, because they're linked to the ground, you often don't see them at ground level until you're up really close, which can only increase the danger. The only good news in regards to these sinkholes is that they haven't claimed any lives. Well, not yet anyways. Number 5. Dean's Blue Hole. These names are really going to be the of me. Do you know how many jokes I could make with this name? Curse my moral fiber. But yes, I am indeed talking about another aquatic sinkhole, where this time it's Dean's Blue Hole, which you can find in the Bahamas. How deep is Dean's Hole? Well, it's 202 meters deep, and the hole is wider at some points, deeper than the surface. So, at points, it can be 25 meters wide, and then as you go down, it'll extend to basically 100 meters. Why would people want to go down in a Dean's blue hole? Well, simply put, it's known to be an excellent diving spot. Whether you use equipment or are a free diver, there's plenty of depth to test your skills. In fact, world records have been set in this hole by those very divers. Oh, uh, but uh, if you're a novice, you may want to get your feet wet somewhere else first. Number 4. Hoffman's K Blue Hole now see, this one is similar in name to the last one, but you can't make any dirty jokes about it. Thank goodness. Hoffman's Cay is a small island in the Berry Islands, Bahamas. That means that we've been in the Bahamas for quite a bit. But given what the islands are like, can you really blame me? That's what I thought. Just to get out to the Blue Hole is a bit of a hike, but there is a trail that will guide you up there. And once you are up there, you're going to see just how impressive the hole is. In fact, it's over 180 meters wide at its best, and there are even cliffs that you can use to dive into the water. And so, it becomes perfect for adrenaline junkies. Ironically, despite the space within the hole, only oysters live there. Number 3. A Big Hole in China As proven multiple Jeez. times over by now, sinkholes are a natural part of our world, but they're also a mysterious one. And sometimes we don't even know what causes them to form. An excellent example of that is this sinkhole in China. It is the world's biggest sinkhole, and to this day, people still don't know how it was formed. Just in case you think I'm exaggerating on things, well, the sinkhole comes in measuring at 660 meters deep with a volume of 130 million cubic meters. Complexes that just which is definitely making it the deepest and largest sinkhole around. Unlike the last sinkhole though, this one is teeming with life. There are over 1,200 species that live within the place, which includes very rare species that you likely will not see anywhere else. There have been many attempts to map the place out, but to no avail. Yeah, they probably didn't form their own little ecosystem down there. It's probably things we've never seen before down there. Yeah. Let's, we need to focus on this. Number two, Varyov Kaina Cave. Now I'm going to continue on this tour of the world by taking you to Georgia, the country and not the state. 
In it, you'll find the deepest cave in the world via this one. But how far down into this cave can you go, you may ask? Well, at its deepest, it's over 2,200 meters. And at first, explorers couldn't even get close to that level of depth. But then, over time, people began to flesh it out even more, and as a result, the cave's true dimensions were made known, breaking records in the process. Part of the problem was that the place was actually hard to get to, as it's a week-long trek to get there and back, if you're lucky, that is. Number 1. Chukwakamata Mine Finally, we'll end with a mine, and it's a copper mine at that. This copper mine is in northern Chile, and mining began going down over 500 years ago. That's right, they've been mining this thing out for quite a very long time. And over the years, it's grown and- Tell me how that's good for our planet at all, bro. <laughs> Tell me, don't get me wrong. I probably use some of the things that this mine has produced for us. I probably utilize some of it without even knowing. But tell me, how is that good for the planet? Changed gears into how it operates. For example, a new operation is going on within the mine to make it an underground mine versus the traditional open pit style. So one could argue that with the new mining strategy, they'll make the mine go even deeper than before. However, wow. only time will tell. Got that That's right. all from the realm of holes and what kinds of them. And maybe they know, maybe they have information saying that this isn't detrimental. <laughs> as hard as that for me to believe, but maybe they have some information and we just, I just don't have it or, or have seen it or heard them talk about it. But man, this just don't make me feel good. This just don't in the long run. Not saying it may happen during our lifetime or however long, but this just can't be good, man. It can't be. We might need to start looking into Mars and how we're gonna be able to, you know what I mean, live on that planet one day. This keep happening. Listen, man, y'all get at me in the comment section, let me know what you think, and uh, stick around and stay tuned. Till next one, I'm gone.